Hey guys, so today we are doing a little how-to video. We are going to, well right now Tyler's going to show you how to make a michelada and then after that I'll show you guys how to make our turkey burgers that we like to make and we'll just see how it goes from there. Tell me what you got baby. Alright, so for this recipe you need two glasses, some beer, we like cheap beer. <laughs> Uh, some either tomato juice or Bloody Mary mix or we occasionally do V8, some Tabasco sauce, some Worcestershire sauce or as Erica calls it rooster sauce. Rooster juice. Rooster juice. That which came from Aunt Cindy. If you don't want to get juice from a rooster, fun fact. <laughs> um, and some Tony's or some kind of like spicy seasoning type deal. So first you put in the beer. Yeah, we do. like to do half a beer a piece because that way it mixes well with the tomato juice and also that way it makes you feel like you're drinking a lot when you actually are. That is true. And it makes you feel nice and refreshed. Normally I would pour this a lot better so that way it doesn't get all foamy but because I'm being filmed and I feel pressured for time I'm just throwing it in there. Usually if you do get a lot of foam salt and it helps take away the foam so anyway you just put a good dash of tony's or your seasoning in there oh that did help a lot that was impressive yeah we're not pressed for time though you can take your time i can speed things up if things take too long so then you wait for the bubbles to go away so i used to use straws to like stir and mix all together but erica slash I found for Erica these little paddles so that way it's like a mixing paddle also if you happen to get stranded out on a river or a lake or something you can use this to paddle <laughs> yourself back in to shore so anyway, if you're right, a mouse if you're a mouse or if you're just a small person so all right the bubbles are gone so then you that looks in. gross with the Tony's in it you it's fine just chill <laughs> then we put tomato juice in it so we did half a glass, so probably it's a ratio of... I would say it's like half and half. No, it's not half and half. No? You put in like half as much tomato juice as you put in beer. Oh. I clearly don't know. Just like that. And like that. That's your tomato juice part. We put in a good dollop of Worcestershire <laughs> sauce. So like one, two, three, four, like four second pour. One, two, three, four. That makes it taste extra good. And then I usually just put in like two to three good dollops of um, Tabasco sauce to give us a kick. Yeah, you do. And then paddle down that lake or that river, <laughs> and mixing it all together. We need to change our sign. Yeah. It's not your birthday anymore. It's always my birthday. That's true. And that's how you make a michelada. Top with ice. I was because to ice say. is wonderful. Yes. We like ice. Tell me what you're doing, baby. All right. Well, we have like not a lot of rice. <laughs> so to go with our turkey burgers, we're going to have some great value crinkle cut French fried potatoes. That was a mouthful. Um, and they're already seasoned and everything, so let's see. We're just going to cook them for 20 minutes and then at 425. Oh, too high. Ah, okay. Sorry. Okay, now we're going to go this way because we're out. All right, and now we're going to get into the turkey burger. So we're using the all natural fresh ground turkey. It's 90% lean. And then we're gonna put an egg in there. We're gonna put some Italian style breadcrumbs and some honey Dijon mustard. And then we're gonna put some seasonings in there. Let me have them here. Uh, let's see. Let's put some Italian seasonings. We can put some garlic pepper. Um, I think we're out of, oh, 
Oh no, here's some onion powder. Let's use the minced onion. I think that'll be good. And should we use some paprika? Yep. Slash cayenne. Okay. And we need more cayenne. Okay, so we're gonna use all of these. Bring them over here. Micheladas, or mozzarellas as I like to call them. Ew, I just spit. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> this is how to keep your kitchen super sanitary. <laughs> this is the real how to. Okay, so we're just going to cut this up. Good-looking turkey. I hate turkey burgers. You like them sometimes. Sometimes. You. I feel like I should rinse this, so that way our fridge isn't super smelly. I got some of it out. Uh, okay. Then I'm gonna wash my hands. Dijon mustard and I'm just going to squeeze really it's to your own tasting so just squeeze as much as you think that you like you kind of like a lot and then add some breadcrumbs and again it's just to your own discretion we add a lot so that way they're kind of harder and less likely to fall apart Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with some minced onion. And just sprinkle that all on top. Some Italian seasoning. Some cayenne pepper. A little bit of garlic powder. And then it's time for the fun part where you get to squish your hands in here and they freeze to death. And just mix it all together. Pro tip, take off your rings before you do it. Yeah, I have the rubber one on right now. I know, okay. I was just saying. Yeah, for sure, because then if you don't, it's gonna be all stuck in your rings, which is disgusting to get out. Okay, so now basically we're just gonna wait until the fries are ready to go in and then we're going to make them into a little patty form and cook them. Show me what you got, baby. I have a patty that I just balled up really, really fast. And look, boom, it's a patty. It's like magic. And then I'm just gonna put it over there on the little frying pan. Then I'm just gonna grab a handful Smush it together, make it nice and flat. As you can see, it looks very appetizing right now. And 
just lay that down and grab another handful. Thank you. So rinse and repeat until you, you use it all up, yep. huh? Yep, all pretty right. much. Good deal. And it's important to remember to cook turkey to an internal temperature of 165. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys the patties right now on the stove. I've got it on medium heat and we'll cook it for this way for probably about 10 minutes and then flip it over and cook it on the other side. And then the fries are currently in the oven. Okay, I just flipped them and this is what they're looking like. Um, that's kind of really burnt and that's kind of really burnt. It's supposed to be more like this, like an in-between of that and this. So, it kind of takes some trial and error. Okay, I just flipped this one over and that's what it's supposed to look like. That's a good color to put it over. Okay, and here's our plates with the finished product. And then I'm going to try this barbecue sauce out with the turkey burger and see how it tastes. Tell me what you got, baby. Am I going? Yeah. Oh. Cut. <laughs>